So can you tell me about your last principle, eliminate overeating for good? Yeah. So Jerry, we talked a lot about being proactive and thinking about the decisions that we make. This is really looking at looking backwards and examining what we need and how we feel about it. So for instance, if I, I have a lot of chips or something that has a lot of sodium, I know that's going to stay with me for a few days. And I know I'm not going to feel great about it. So now I, I know that. And I, and I want all of us, whether we journal or keep a diary or just have it in our head or use an app, whatever it takes, I want us to do some examination. It doesn't have to be formal, but I want you to look at what you've eaten and how you feel. I've never regretted not eating chocolate cake or having nachos or anything like that. But I do know that I can't restrict myself from having them. So I coach my clients, you can eat whatever you want. Like literally, I just want you to really examine how you feel after you have that. And what are some different choices that, that you can make, whether it's around the quantity or the time of day or the, the, the frequency, something like that. You can make some adjustments and learn along the way. I think it reaps a lot of rewards. I don't believe in cheat days, Darren. I don't believe in special diets unless they're, they're doctor prescribed. I believe in doing what's best for you and the life that you're living. And, and I just, I don't have all the answers for people, but I know how to ask the right questions to solicit what people need in order to lose weight, reduce stress, grow in their career, in their life and thrive. Yeah, I, I love what you're saying. I admit, just reading on your website, I, I believed our philosophies were aligned. But sometimes when someone loses weight very quickly, I think, oh man, they're great for them, but maybe they're the exception to the rule. Maybe they're going to you know, talk about restricting and dieting. And, and so I really appreciate hearing this non-restriction and how foods make you feel. Um, and really this, this core principle too of mine, Mark, is what I call the growth mindset, but identifying and learning and reflecting. And maybe that's why I'm drawn to meditation too. It's very inward 